What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Vanina's Vibe. I do have a special guest today, Isla. We actually just woke up from a nap. So. <laughs> so this is a kind of current obsessions video, specifically for like the fall time. A lot of the stuff I've had for a while. Some of this I did recently get. Some of these are recent discoveries. Some of these are recent changes, I guess. But... Yeah, so you want to start off the video? Say, Vanina's Vibe! <laughs> Say it again. Say, Vanina's Vibe! <laughs> I'm going to start with really ran something really random, and that is my black, black and Decker uh, mini vacuum. She's actually scared of it, so I'm going to put this down. I'm going to pop a photo up right here. It is basically what it sounds like. It's a mini vacuum. It is honestly a lifesaver for me because I there's a lot of sweeping that I have to do in the house, especially with a dog and a baby. So I can just collect it all in one area and vacuum it up with a small vacuum. Or sometimes I just have to vacuum up the little crumbs. I use it on the couch for the dog hairs. I use it in her room if she ever has crumbs from her snacks. I use it. It's also a lifesaver for the car. If you ever drop something, you don't need to go to the vacuum thing. You just have this mini one. It does come with a charger, which is great. It actually will last me a few days because I'm not using it all day, obviously. It's so easy. It's less of a hassle. I don't have to carry around this huge vacuum, especially I have hardwood floors. I don't have carpet anywhere in the house, so I don't need a huge vacuum. So that is definitely a lifesaver. Yeah. Tech product number two, I guess, isn't all that new to a lot of you. It's actually AirPods. I do have an AirPod in right now because I was watching something. I've actually had AirPods for definitely almost a year now. These are my second ones because my first ones did get stolen. So yeah, can't trust people. But I love them. They don't fall out. I just worked out like 20 minutes ago. Yeah, I love these. They're AirPods. They are what they are. I believe the hype. Like, they definitely are worth it. If you want. If you like headphones, get AirPods. They're definitely worth it. This next product, I am going to have to pick up. It's a little bit, um, big. Is it this that's, like, shining my face? Alright, I fixed the lighting. It was my window. But hey, Stay, what's the weather like today? It's currently cloudy and 50 degrees in Rockville. Expect mostly clear skies starting in the afternoon. Temperatures are heading down from 50 degrees to 41 tonight. Thank you. Hey Siri, play my favorite music. Now playing your favorites mix. Don't want to get copyrighted, so that's done. So, yeah, my other favorite music, I guess, not just music product, is the HomePod. It is really heavy, so I'm going to put this down. I use this literally every day, especially because... Right, I'm going to put it down before I reactivate her. Especially because Ida loves music. Mm. I'm a dangerous man with some money in my pocket. Keep up! She loves music. We probably spend around 30 to an hour, 30 minutes to an hour a day just dancing. She loves Bruno Mars. She loves B A B Y S H A R K. She loves Beyonce. She loves that um Scooby Doo Papa song. I don't know if everyone knows what that is. I'll link it below. It's amazing. I can just tell her to play a song. Anything that is in Apple Music category, she can play. Like you just heard. She can tell me the weather. There are other apps she can connect to. That's really all I use her for, but it's an amazing speaker. I can be in the shower and I just tell her to play a certain song and she'll play it. And I can tell her like, hey Siri, volume up by 40%. I've turned it up. But she's not playing anything right now. And then I can tell her, hey Siri, volume down by 25%. So, I mean, it's kind of, I guess some people like Alexa. I like my HomePod. It just is what it is. If you want to go and check it out, Definitely check it out. It is definitely worth it. 
My next favorite product is the Mophie Dual Wireless Charging Pad. So I can put two, oh, you can see me, don't laugh at my setup. You can put two phones, I can put a phone in my AirPods because it does charge your AirPods and you just lay it. That's why I also like this one because I've seen some where you kind of have to like play with it. This one, I like the lines. I literally just put it this way or this way on the dock and it'll charge. The main reason I love this one is because not only does it have one, two, but it has... It has a little USB, so you can attach any charger that has a USB to it. So I have, sometimes I use it to charge my Apple Watch, even though usually this is beside me when I'm in bed. But I attach this because I charge my AirPods here, James's phone here, my phone here. Yeah, if you're looking for a charging dock, a wireless one, this is actually pretty freaking great. And a last but certainly not least um it's actually activated right now so i can't really show you how it works but um this is called the click heater if you see this little metal thing so normally it's just a liquid but when you click it the crystals come out and it creates heat so right now this is pretty hot and she wants to play with it it's hot okay obviously i don't have it in my hands anymore but I love this thing during winter. I actually, or during fall, winter, I have it on right now because after I worked out, I went downstairs to the kitchen and I made myself a post-workout snack and she was still napping. So I was able to be downstairs for a while, but it was pretty, it gets pretty cold in my kitchen, even with the heat on. So I just grabbed that and I just put it like into my hands. I was like standing there making my snack, let like three four days ago i went out like i was out all, all day and i just had it in my pocket so i could just easily grab on it whenever it gets cold sometimes i give it to her if we're out and it's cold and it's just it's convenient i honestly forgot the price point but it's worth it it's that's honestly the smallest one they have they have one that you can put on your back so it's like a at home like heat soother but it's great it does the job it's a simple thing and I'm obsessed because like I said and I will keep saying I don't do well in the winter slash fall cold or snow moving on from all the tech products I guess um moving on to like kitchen kind of food vibe thing she is crushing her yogurt right now I can see her she has not made a mess yet First things first is actually something I'm using right now. I clearly didn't mix that well. I actually just finished drinking my coffee. This is the Starbucks reusable cup. You've probably seen it if you go to Starbucks. It was only $2. $2, which is amazing. I use this every single day. I'm not even joking. No, I don't go to Starbucks every day to get iced coffee. I make my iced coffee at home or I make cold brew or sometimes I buy big bottles of cold brew. But I love this thing. Like it's so convenient. I and it's not I don't just use it for coffee. Sometimes I have juice and I put it in here. Sometimes I have a really really thin smoothie. I put it in here, which we're going to get into in a minute. I also drink my water out of this all day every day like i constantly fill it up and i drink my water out of this i mean it comes with a straw it's a cup like what else can you ask for definitely go to starbucks if you're looking for a reusable cup especially if you can drink iced coffee even during the fall and winter like i do get this it's amazing but along with the whole coffee thing this is my milk father it's from power licks this way you just press the button on top and you froth your milk. I actually use this especially for my teas. I like making chai tea or black tea at home and I always put milk in my teas and it's a great way to spice it up a little bit and just froth your milk at home. I used to actually use a mason jar, put it in the microwave so the milk would heat up and shake it forever until finally I got this. Um, I also do sometimes make lattes at home but also for my coffee. I will even froth out my creamer sometimes, or if I do use milk, on some days I do, I will use this. And it's a lifesaver, and this is so cute. Like on my counter, it just sits there. It's sleek, like it, it just, it's perfect, I love it. This is the Munchkin Any Angle Click, Click Lock Weighted Straw Trainer Cup, whatever that means. So we actually, she's been using this for a few months now, 
so that what it means by any angle is the straw is weighted down and it's bendable so if she tilts it this way she gets the last drop if she tilts it this way she gets the last drop if she drinks it straight she gets the last drop it's a straw it does close like this she knows how to open it and drink out of it I just i love a sink she likes using straws i guess it just hey guys it's peach and melanie in editing i'm editing this right now and i realized that i lost the footage to where i was talking about the munchkin products including this i talked a little bit about it but i i lost the rest of what i said basically i love this thing it's perfect for her at this age at this stage it's actually how she learned to drink out of a straw it works period point blank poo whatever the second product i want to talk about from munchkin is the snack holder a lot of you have probably seen this if you're a mother you've definitely seen this pretty simple you put snacks in here they can reach into it and pull it out easy but the point is they can't tip over this is great when we are at the park when we go out all day she's not gonna sit down and have her snack she literally runs around the house with this thing in her hand and when she wants a snack she grabs it and that's the other thing on the list i don't know how i lost the footage i apologize for this little interruption and now back to the scheduled viewing along with food my next favorite product is the ninja bullet i got this thing probably over oh yeah definitely over a year ago because i got it before she was born i got it specifically to pure his, her food i love the ninja bullet i use it to this day i used it this morning to make my smoothie bowl for breakfast it's hands down the best blender i used to have a giant food processor i used that as a blender i was like i can't do this anymore i need a small Simple, sleek blender. I literally put it in my cabinet and you can't see it. I never have it out unless I'm using it. I use it for smoothies. I use it to make my own hummus. Like I said, I used it to pure her food when she was younger. I use it. I made pizza sauce last time using the Nutribullet because I don't need to use my whole food, food processor for that if I'm only making a little amount. But it's great. It does the job. I love, uh, my main thing that I love is that I don't have to put it into another cup. I literally drink it in what it's blended. So it's, of a cleanup for me but moving on to more of the beauty world stuff this is definitely more of current obsessions because of the weather product number one my lifesaver actually let me aquaphor specifically aquaphor healing ointment healing ointment healing ointment advanced therapy it's great for dry lips, especially during the fall. During the fall slash winter, my body does not like me. My lips get super dry. The winter hates me. My skin gets so, so, so dry. My hair gets like brittle. My skin gets super dry. So I actually use this not only for my lips, but under my eyes. Cause like it'll get dry really here. I'll apply it under here and anywhere else where like on my face it's really dry and this is great. It does the job. Mommy. Moving on with the whole dry skin thing. Uh, this is shea butter. I have used shea butter before from the store. Hated it. It's from Riley Shea Parlor. She makes her own shea butters. I got the plain because she does have ones that are scented with like natural. Very, It's all very natural, but I don't like personally scents. My skin is very sensitive. as natural as it is. Anything with a scent, especially during this time of year, my body, like I said, does not like me so it will not work. So I got the plain one so it doesn't have a scent. This has been a lifesaver. So what I do right after I shower, I apply it on my, I have chicken skin. I forgot what the proper name is, but I have chicken skin. So I put it right here and I put it on my feet, on the butt of my feet. It's also really, really bad during winter. So I put it on the butt of my feet and then I put on fuzzy socks and... Oh, my feet have been the softest they've ever been throughout winter because of this like it's amazing what shea butter can do so yeah put, i'm putting you on this is a local black owned business please go support her she is a sweetheart she is amazing the products are worth it i will link her instagram and her website below local business she definitely deserves all the love go check her out let me do a little beauty girl moment Moving on, this is more so not because I have dry skin, but because I need my hair to be more dry. This is the 
Simply Dry Dry Shampoo. I've actually never ever heard of this company, but of all the dry shampoos from um, what have I tried? I've tried so many. I go to Marshalls and I buy all of them. I've gone to Target and I bought all of them. This is probably hands down one of my favorite ones. I have about five in my cabinet in the bathroom, but this is the one I reach for every day because I don't shower every day. I mean, I don't dry, wash my hair every day. I shower every day. I don't wash my hair every day, people. Come on. Get with the program. We don't wash our hair every day. That's bad for you. So this is going to be kind of sad. <sighs> You'll see in a moment. But um, this is a mirror. Look here, I'm reading a book. I dropped it down the stairs a few weeks ago because I was just mad. I was so mad. This is my favorite thing in the world. And my favorite, favorite part is that... It lights up. You can't really tell because it's obviously bright in here, but it does light up. It actually lights up really, really bright. It's currently a little dull because I need to change the batteries because I haven't changed it since I bought the thing. But yes, I love this thing. I love that it can move like that. It does come with a little charger, I guess, so you can just plug it in and the light is as bright as it goes. But I do prefer batteries because this is more portable. My favorite part is the little dock. So if I'm doing my makeup, pretend it's open i can just put something right here and just have easy access so i open it up Ooh, let's do it this way so it's not in the way turn the light on give you a brush what do you do okay. she's painting the mirror no mama don't put that on the mirror that's dirty what do you put it you put it on mommy's face go like this That's Ella doing her makeup. So I have a helper for these last three products. So yeah, like I said, this is my current obsession. It's NYX in Mauve, and then my other one, which is in our hand. Ooh. Grab this one, baby. Is, what color? It's just plain red. It's hot red. This is my other favorite. Current obsession, especially these two for the fall, are great, even as a combo. So I'll outline with this one, and then I put this one on the inside and just try to blend it out. I do have a brush just for blending out my lips. I love NYX liners. They don't dry up my lips. They go on very, very smooth. They're at a good price point, and they have so many options with different like, lip formulas that it's great. Here. I have no idea what company this is. I have no idea where this is from. I bought this when I bought a current... Um, it was like a promotion for some beauty box thing, and I bought it, and this came in it. So it's... You've probably seen it everywhere online. It's a face shaver. And it has a light, so when you're shaving, I actually use this for my sideburns, so I kind of shave down this. I use it for my upper eyebrow, obviously not to shape my eyebrows, but instead of sitting there and plucking all of this, I just simply go around with this. It actually does a great job for certain areas of my face. I don't use it for my whole face, but definitely for some of the, like, the peach fuzz that I get down here, this area, and my sideburns. This is great. It's definitely worth it. It is better than a little shaver. Because that can irritate your skin, especially if you have sensitive skin. So this is a whole lot better, honey. And last, but certain, certainly not least, I cannot talk today, is the Tree Hut Sugar Scrub. It's freaking great. It does wonders for my dry skin. For my chicken skin, I have my, my arms. I apply this. I leave it on for a few minutes. I kind of scrub it in. Don't like scrub scrubs kind of like a little bit of a lather to definitely help with your skin i love the tropical mango smell it doesn't like last all day you're not gonna smell like mangoes all day but it definitely does last a while and even the shower it just smells great and a little bit of this goes a long way this thing is amazing and then these two together these these two great combo and that is actually i think all i have for today i have no idea how many things that was i'm gonna have to put like a number in when i'm editing i'm gonna try to link everything below at least as much as i freaking can i'm gonna go play with isla because she's asking for mommy don't forget to subscribe like leave a comment of any of your current obsessions any recommendations you have for someone with dry skin yes i'm going to say recommendations for anyone with dry skin like me, if you have any other based off the products I have, if you have anything that you know I would like, 
if you have tried any of, any of these things out leave a comment down below by the way i apologize i should have apologized ahead of time that probably this entire video i was looking at myself not the camera can you say subscribe like comment you don't want to say comment down below say comment and share i love you guys Blow kiss. Mwah. 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 I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs> Pretty simple. Back up and help me with this outro. What? There's no snacks in there, Bubba. You gonna help me out or no? I'm so mad because this was yeah. I like. Can you go in your room? Give me a minute. A minute. Yes. Give me. You have one right there. Thank you. What do you want? You can have that in a second. Can you wait? Uh, I love it. She's look continue on with the whole Mommy. grass skin thing. Mommy. What baby? You can't touch that yet. I'm doing something with that, okay? okay. Go. You want Sesame Street?